and nothing goes in it without a label and a location, okay? And also a picture of what it looks like when we put that sign up there, so now we know what we have. It's fine, we need to put things in, we're going to change, we're always going to change, but we just got to make sure the process of how we change is what we want to do, okay? Take a picture, label it, know where it goes, and put it back to where it belongs, okay? So we want to make sure we're doing that. All right. I'm going to go through uh, some suggestions here. And, all right, so, check on, check prices on replacing tool room, private tools with hands and open tools to reduce redundancy and conserve space. Uh, we're, we're up for that. We do it out on the floor, so if that's something that's going to help, absolutely. So, all right, I'll talk to Ashley on that. Have small totes in the tool room with all the tools one may need to perform most of the jobs. Down key sprays and lock that cabinet at night. Uh, yeah, that's great. Alright, we'll put, we'll put a, uh, an event up to sort of figure out what those are and then we can get the, get the stuff we need prepared then do it all at one time. So we just got to figure out instead of me, what we, what we realized in the Kaizen and some of this is like we need to have a little bit and I, a planning meeting. Actually, really, it's just get rid of the junk first. The next meeting, at the end of that, once you get rid of all the junk, like we did up on the mezzanine with the material handler, once you see what you have, then figure out what you need for the next meeting. Like all the tools, you know, the boards that we need to put stuff in, or the foam we need to cut. So once it's all the garbage is out, then we know what we need for the next meeting, so it can all go a lot smoother. So there's a lot of planning that needs to go into it. Uh, set up toolboxes. Uh, replace the ones that are missing and uh, see if tools need to be added. Absolutely, with the tools added, we need to know if there's a tool in there that it's going to make your job easier, let's add it to the box, okay? Uh, replacing, we're going to figure that one out because I'll, I'll, you guys signed off, you guys have keys to be locked up, you guys lose it, I don't know how we're going to do that one. So we got to take responsibility for what we're doing, all right? Uh, I got to talk to Ivan. Maybe someone's talked to Ivan. Or if you can find the items tonight. Great, find an area in the shop floor to place all the DME boxes and cables, labeled with their size and capability for easy access when performing a setup. Obviously, that makes a lot of sense. We, I mean, we, we know that we need to do something with that now. We're having that problem constantly. So, all right, we're, we'll definitely move this on the list. Any questions on any of these? So, all right, we're going to work on these. All right. We're going to move on to the next chapter of fall here. All right. So remember that fast cap is a eight-hour or one-ship uh, company that does point-of-purchase products. All right. So just keep that in mind on when you're again. It's not. We're not trying to do exactly what they're doing, but we got to come up with a way that the concept of what they're trying to do. Okay. So this this section will sort of talk about that. Everyone reports to work at 7 o'clock in the morning. Our morning meeting goes from 8 to 8.30. Technically speaking, my people don't really work at their specific jobs from 7 to 8. Instead, we reserve that time for 3S. Remember those, our 3S are sweep, sort, standardized. Sweep, clean their areas, sort anything, and remove anything that is ancillary and not necessary for their specific job, and then standardize everything. By committing that first hour to the 3S's, every person is given the opportunity to find a two-second improvement. Sorting through the clutter that tends to build up in their work areas will always yield some kind of improved efficiency. Everyone knows that they have a, a, at least, at least, very least one hour from seven to eight to make one small improvement in their own area of influence of workspace. In order to reinforce this idea, I began walking the shop floor every morning from the department to apartment, greeting people saying, hi Austin, what's your improvement for today? Or what are you working on? When people too are fast capped, they say things like, this is the cleanest place I've ever seen. You guys are fanatical. The salt and pepper is even labeled shadowed on the lunch table. Our second step towards building a clean culture was a very simple process that absolutely everybody could buy into and participate in. We kept it simple enough to make sure to build it into the workday. There's not a place in the world that can't benefit from a two-second improvement. When I explained the two-second improvement to Harry... Harry Kenworthy, a consultant I interviewed on my radio show, The American Innovator, I asked him if he thought it sounded like something that would work in any environment. He said, absolutely, I said. Well, why, why do you believe it would work so well at FastCap? He said, simple, Paul. In order to make, make something stick, you must first set the expectations, inspect the expectations, 
and reinforce the expectation. Okay, so it's basically a three step. So it's not just throw it out and hope for it sticks on the wall. Okay, so it's just the culture change, looking at it, and, it, and attaboys, and good job, and all that. So that we're trying to work on all that. So that's what sort of drives, you know, good pictures too. There's a lot going on, not just all that, all right? So any questions on that? And I'm happy to talk about this if you guys have questions about what I've read, or if you people have asked for copies of the book to read to understand it a little bit more. I have copies I'm happy to hand out. Uh, we've handed out a bunch of them. People are taking their time to read it. So, but challenge or ask. I mean, I, I don't have, you know, how, how do we do this sort for an hour? Well, obviously, we can't shut all the process down every day for an hour, but how do we do that? How do we clean our area for 15 minutes and move the buckets around where they belong and make sure they're in the same spot? You know, how do we take that time? So, I'm open for suggestions and, you know, conversation about that. So, any questions? Alright, just got a, one more improvement to show you guys on what the end closet and the uh, product ended up being. Or you can see from the the start to the end. As you can see, it was quite a